Okay, video four here on uncovering the missing secrets of magnetism. As you can see on our wall over here, we have a clockwise and counterclockwise printed spiral. Now, let's see how we can determine, as stated before, that the side of every magnet, the outside edge, there is a centrifugal vortex conjugating, reciprocating to the other side centripetally. In other words, it's leaving the edge here and returning to the other side at the center and vice versa on the other side. So let's see how we can use simplex Euclidean geometry to understand which direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, the centrifugal, i.e. at the edge right here, is reciprocating as, clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay, here at the center of our screen we have a clockwise spiral and as we bring it closer if it is going clockwise it will move it in the same direction if it is going counterclockwise it will distort it. Okay, it's moving it in the same direction. Now without looking at the center here I know that since the centrifugal is moving clockwise on this side of the magnet, the centripetal in the center of that very same face is going to be moving counterclockwise. Let's look. Let's look. Yep, you see the scintillating hairs of the centripetal? They're moving counterclockwise. Ta-da! Proof of the principle of field incommensurability, the world's first accurate and full explanation of magnetism. Now, just because you want to have these printed vortexes at the center of the TV screen for obvious reasons, because the gun, the dielectric gun at the back of the cathode ray tube is pointed at the center. We just moved it over a little bit. You can see we're using the same side here and we're getting distortion. Or actually, I used the other side. I flipped the wrong side. So now we know, since we're getting distortion on the counterclockwise, that the centrifugal on this side of the magnet is moving clockwise, which means the centripetal will be moving counterclockwise. And if we look over here, look, the centrifugal, the centripetal center, center returning on the same side is moving counterclockwise. You see we're getting distortion on the counterclockwise spiral, which means the centrifugal on this side of the magnet is moving clockwise, which means necessarily the centripetal at the center of this side of the magnet must be moving necessarily counterclockwise, which of course it is. And let's move over to the other vortex. Actually, let's put them both in the center. And try that again really quick and show you both at the same time without having to move the camcorder. Let's see, which side of the magnet do I have, since I don't remember since I just laid it down? Is it distorting this one? Why, yes it is. Since it's distorting this one, which is a, a counterclockwise spiral, that means the vortex on the center on the uh, centrifugal of this side of the magnet must necessarily be moving clockwise, which means the centripetal must be moving. Did I have that back backwards? Have a uh, this is. Uh, one of the spatial anomalies of a uh, human understanding here. We have a, a counterclockwise vortex on the screen, and it's. Is it distorting it? No, it's moving in the same direction, excuse me, because moving it in the uh, same. In, moving in the opposite direction creates this toroidal ring. You see that? You see the edge definition here along the edge of the black ring? You notice how that creates a toroidal looking ring? If it's moving in the same direction here, that means it's moving in the same direction of the vortex. Pardon me. So, since this one is moving counterclockwise on the centripetal, on the centrifugal, moving counterclockwise on the centrifugal, it must necessarily be moving clockwise on the centripetal, which it is. You can see the centripetal is moving clockwise. Now we just have to restart our camera over again. 
because it automatically shuts off after no activity for after a couple minutes. So, it's, pardon my little error there since it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Nevertheless, I am correct. Let me prove it to you again. This one is... You see how it's creating a toroidal ring pattern at the edge of the black? Since, without looking at the center, that means since the this vortex printed on the uh, on the screen from the printed diagram on the wall is going in a counterclockwise motion, that means that the centrifugal exiting vortex along the edge of the magnet is moving clockwise, which means the center portion must be moving counterclockwise, which of course, yes, it is. And over here, you'll notice we're getting movement in the same direction. You see over here, look at the edge definition of the black here, right at the edge. You notice that toroidal ring, and you notice over here, you're not getting that. It's moving the vortex in the same direction. It doesn't cause that toroidal ring here like it does here. This is the centrifugal moving in the opposite direction to this ring, but in the same direction of this clockwise ring. So since we know the centrif centrifugal on this side of the magnet is moving clockwise, then the centripetal is moving counterclockwise. Ta-da! Yes, absolutely is the case. So let's see we're not tricking you. Let's flip it over and try it on the same. Now you'll notice the toroidal ring on this side, which means that this side of the magnet, the centrifugal vortex, is moving opposite to the printed diagram being projected, which is clockwise, which means it's moving counterclockwise, which means that the center must be moving clockwise. You see that? Prove it again here. Vortex is moving clockwise. It causes distortion, which means this is moving counterclockwise. The magnet is moving counterclockwise along the centrifugal edge, which means the centripetal must be moving necessarily clockwise. And you can see it right there. Yes, it is moving clockwise. Let me see if I can get a little bit better image for you there. You can see the little scintillating hairs moving clockwise slightly fuzzy but you can see it nevertheless so here you have it the first time in history an accurate proof of vortex movement operating both centripetally and centrifugally on both sides of the magnet and moving in opposite directions meaning each side of every magnet there are two vortex fields conjugating reciprocating through each other leaving each side of the magnet along this edge the centrifugal vortex i.e. the divergent magnetic field and the returning centripetal the convergent field moving always in the opposite direction to the divergent or the centrifugal field leaving here each side of the magnet is move is reciprocating out from this edge and returning to the center of this edge and this edge is doing likewise it is leaving divergently or centrifugally from this edge and returning convergently or centripetally to this edge always in the opposite direction don't need a particle collider all I used was a very old camcorder, some printed diagrams on the wall, and an old cathode ray TV tube. Remember to download the book, Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism, soon to enter, in there, enter, enter into its third edition. And you've seen it here first, from the author of Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism, the first accurate explanation with multiple compounded proofs of the nature of a magnet and how each side has two vortexes moving in opposite directions and opposite uh, reciprocations to each other to the other side and vice versa from that other side to the original side 
as well as we'll discuss before and afterwards, the dielectric inertial plane, or the quote-unquote flywheel, which spins up the magnetism, because all magnets are not really magnets, they're dielectric electrified objects. Immense amounts of electricity are pumped into these from charged capacitor banks. They're zapped, and what you end up with is nature's perfect little model of magnetodielectricity operating in perfect field incommensurability. A whole new science of study will be a new science of study. Many countless inventions will come from it, and you've heard it here first. For the first time, the author of Uncovering the Mystic Secrets of Magnetism, downloaded off archive.org, Libgen, or any one of the torrent sites, or cathodos.com. Just type it in on a Google search, and you will find it. Many more videos to follow on the nature of magnetism. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Don't forget. For the very first time, I don't know what your level of curiosity is, but we finally understand magnetism. After years and years and years of research, unbelievable free time, which should be put to good use instead of bad use, I bring this to you, and I hope you appreciate it. If you like it, you can always make a donation that will help pay for web hosting. Send it to webmaster at cathodos.com. Any little small donation would be much appreciated. All proceeds do not go to me, but towards web hosting and the purchase of books. Thanks so much for watching.